Tonight we feature a three-year partnership between your local news channel and Vitalant ahead of Monday's MLK Day of Service. Right now there is an urgent need for O-negative blood and convalescent plasma. And my parents have been married for 64 years. Uh, they had five children. Doreen Salmonson's love for her parents, Elaine and George Hughes, inspired a renewed commitment to donate blood. We've been giving blood since 2014. I have. Doreen says she contracted COVID last year during the last days of her father's life. It was a two-week recovery and then a positive test for antibodies. I started donating my plasma in November and then determined, decided that in uh, December, I would donate every week um, in memory of my father. Doreen's is among roughly 900 convalescent plasma donations made to Vitalant during the pandemic. Of those, just under 700 units shipped out from the Central Coast to help COVID patients. Is this something that you do often? Yes, it is relatively often. I try to come like once a month. Amy Dresden also contracted COVID. She says donating plasma is important to her. Getting COVID is like a bad thing, but then you can turn that into something positive by helping other people who really need it. Vitalant says one out of four hospitalized COVID patients currently receives convalescent plasma. A day of giving to honor the living and the loved. For this mother of five and grandmother of three with one on the way, it is a living legacy filled with pride. I just really feel blessed to be able to honor my father this way and also to give back.